over how to use the Striker Power Pack and the Power Load System. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over how to unload. So when we do that, first thing we're going to do is make sure this dude's up. Um, it's just how the system is. It's not going to um, come out correctly if it's down. So first thing we do is this little red release lever. Push it down. Okay. And then you're going to pull the track out. Once it locks, you've got controls. You've got one here, one here. They're both the same. You're going to hit your plus sign. You're going to lower your legs and lower the arms. Once it's done making noise, once it's stopped moving, there's a little tiny button above the plus or minus controls that you hit that releases the pins in oh no, releases these pins in the track. These lights will turn yellow and start flashing. Then you can pull the cot out. So hit the button, lights are flashing. You hear it unlock. how to load the cot into the loading system. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your track and your load system are actually pulled out and in this position. This is the load position for the cot. Okay, arms down, lights are flashing, okay, it's ready to be loaded. You want to make sure that your wheels, these pins on your wheels are lined up with this track because that's where they're going to sit. Okay, lined up, simply push into place. As soon as those pins are in the right spot, you have these yellow flashing lights will turn green and then it's ready to load. Okay, lights are green. You hear it click into place. You're going to hit your retract button, your subtract button. That'll bring the legs up and the arms up, okay? Once it's in this position, you can simply push the cot in. And it will lock in place. So this video, we're gonna be talking about the manual controls for this cot and the cot system. So first thing we wanna talk about is we've got the cot out, it's in the unload position. And let's say your battery's out, so your retract and um, release controls are not working. Your battery's dead. You have a manual um, control right here, this little lever right under the battery that you put, pull, and it will lower your legs. Okay? So um, from there, once that's done, your legs are down, you have a power control panel right here. Okay, you've got a power button. You've just, you've got your up and down buttons as well, just like on the cot. And then you have your arm release button. So, so we're back in this position. So we're stuck here, okay? You can bring the cot back down. That will also lower the arms. Or if for whatever reason your legs are down but your arms will not come down, this button releases your arms. It's a little slow, kind of have to help it a little bit. There's that. And then you would just hit your release button like normal and unload the cot. Okay, so this video we're gonna talk about troubleshooting some issues that may occur with this load system. Um, so a couple things to start off with. Um, first, we wanna make sure that this track and the system itself are in the right positions before we load and unload. So in this case, this is the unload position. 
Um, but, you know, we unloaded the cot, we're getting ready to transfer the patient into the hospital or wherever we're going. Um, we want to make sure that before we close these doors, um, we push this thing back in. Okay, so in order to do that, you simply lift up on the arms, so you hear it click, and then you just simply push it back in until it's out of the way, and then you let go your arms, and you can close your doors, okay? With this, you just wanna make sure that you're not slamming things. Um, it's not good for the system, um, so just be very gentle when you're doing these things, um, and be mindful of when you're loading patients that, you know, especially if you're on a hill, um, a slope, anything like that, that gravity will take over. Um, so you just kind of have to maintain control. Okay. Um, when we are, um, we drop our patient off at the hospital, we're bringing the cot back out, um, simply to bring this back out into a load position, lift up on the arms, and pull it back out. should be ready to go okay so um, also when we're loading things um, something to look for is making sure that you don't have any debris or none of your straps make sure all your straps are secure and not dangling and getting in the way underneath um, because they will get tangled up in the track and that is not going to be fun trying to finagle and unload okay um, so with that a um, couple things to go over um, manual controls override systems here um, so if for whatever reason the controls on the cot are not working the release control for when you are pulling the cot out um, these pins if they do not release okay you have a manual control here so these red tabs you simply pull them and it will release the pins on these sides okay um, if your track gets stuck. So let's say, you know, we're stuck in this position. The track's not moving when you pull this release valve or the release trigger here. These red track triggers, okay, the left one, you pull and it will pull the track out and simply continue as normal. Same thing for this other one, the right side. You pull it down, pull the track back a little bit, and then you can push it into the lock position. 